Oh, you're from Illinois. You're a state senator. You serve with this man. And what do you know? You know, and uh, <coughs> and sometimes it's kind of difficult to even answer the question because I, you know, I did. I served with him for eight years. I can remember when he walked in. I remember when he was sworn in. I he, very articulate, very educated, speaks well, as we all know. He's talked a lot in Springfield. He talked a, lot, a great deal on the floor. In fact, to the point where we've got, there's so much material on, on his position, philosophy, that, that there's a, <laughs> they can't get it on the TV enough. Just, this man was very, very liberal, very liberal, and that, that's okay, we have those people. We have that kind of philosophy in the state, and that's what you believe, then follow that type of thinking. But I don't think it's mainstream at all. It isn't mainstream, and if the public only knew, the public only knew the manner in which this man conducted himself in Springfield, I think it would, we'd have a, a different attitude right now in the election. On the election. He, he truly was what, what we call a backbencher. He was never in a leadership position. He was just in the right place at the right time. And, and, he, and because of his ability to speak, and the nice looking guy, and he's a, a good handshaker, he meets people well, and people like him. And that's, in politics, that's, you know, unfortunately, uh, much more than what it ought to be. But he... Now, when you talk about Sarah Palin, and this is what really, really irritates me about the media and the manner in which she's been treated since she was put on the ticket in Minneapolis, talking about her experience and how in the world can we allow somebody that was governor of Alaska, who was a mayor of Wasilla, is that right? Yeah. Anyway, uh, to be, is she qualified? Who would think that a lady of this caliber could be qualified? Well, you know what? Three years and nine months ago, Barack Obama was a state senator in Illinois. A state senator, hardly the training ground for you know the highest office in the in this country and the most responsible office in the world. Hardly a training ground for it. So don't tell me about talk to me about experience of Sarah Palin, because the man at the top on your number on the top of your ticket has got less experience than she has. The. Uh, they talk about this president vote. Hillary brought all this up. But I remember sitting there on the Senate floor, and my seatmate was a gentleman by the name of Ed Petka. He's a judge now in Will County. And Peter Roskam was, was, was a, now as a congressman from DuPage County. They, they were both part of my leadership. And I remember saying, why is it that Barack Obama votes president all the time? <laughs> yeah, we, we did we commented about this. What's the point? You know, you're elected. You're to serve the people who sent you there. Yeah. You know what? That's not the kind of individual we need in the White House. We don't need indecisive individuals who don't know whether to make up their mind on one way or another. You vote yes is a green button. You vote no is a red button. And you know what a president button is? It's yellow. And it's yellow for a reason. <laughs> and take a position. Take a stand and believe in something. Have some principles about what you believe. 32 times this man voted present. I, I've been there 30 years almost. I mean, that's a long time. I would never have believed that. I haven't done it. I haven't voted present five times because of people of my... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The people of, of my district sent me there to represent them, whether I agree with them or not, or whether they agree with me, but they sent me there to stand for something. Have some backbone. Have some principle on what you believe. They didn't send me there to vote present. And we, they, he's gotten a pass on this issue, total pass on this issue by the media. And it's just criminal what's going on out there and the way they're treating Sarah Palin. And I just, I don't like to, because I, I yell at the TV and I was yelling last night. And, I, and I'm yelling 